large requirement for a professional player to overcome his instincts, so to speak. That was a crucial point, not to let it to let Sayaki Shikawa take a 2-0 lead right off the start. Top spin was... Well, Kishikawa, to be honest, just mistimed it. Good play from Kishikawa. Keeping up the pressure on Patrick Baum who has come into this match, winning the third game. Obviously, Saya Kishikawa keen to stop that happening any further, putting the pressure on again. Oh, oh great control by the Japanese player, and then waiting for the opportunity to accelerate and take the initiative. There you see it, great footwork, powerful legs. Once again, I wonder why Patrick Baum keeps playing into the backhand of Seiya Kishikawa. That is obviously his strong side. Perhaps he just doesn't feel confident playing these cross-court shots. Jörg Roskov on his feet. Calls timeout as Patrick Baum trails in this fourth game. Four points to one. Look at, just look at the body language of Patrick Baum during the coaching stage here. Doesn't seem confident at all. So the venue here, trying to get the crowd whooped up to try to give Patrick Baum the third German player in this match a lift. So players back, ready for action. Let. Big let there, ball barely making it over the net. Taking a sweet time too, Sayo Kishikawa. And he just barely mistimed that one. Difficult shot to execute on such heavy topspin from Patrick Baum. You need to pull through the ball, not letting it trail too much, hitting it right at the high point. But again, or good variation. Yep, yep. And, but again, good variation, Sebastian, by Patrick Baum. Spinny backhand that time. Kishikawa, he's keeping the intensity alive here, he's keeping the upper hand. <laughs> ah, great stuff. Good for his confidence too. That point during the longer rally. Five three still in the lead is Saya Kishikawa. He is up two to one games for Japan. And that will be the first match Japan wins here. Still an open match in this fourth game. Let's... 
Five, four. Oh, Led involved. The net was involved two times here. Led before that as well. Seems nervous, the young German, but who could blame him at this stage? Great receive from Kishikawa, right over the table. Dinks it over into Baum's forehand. Nice change there. He had been receiving quite a lot into the middle of the table. So a great little change by Kishikawa. He's firmly in the driving seat here. And then a top spin. Too loose from Patrick Baum, but Saya Kishikawa picking it up well. He's going to bring Japan right back into this semi final match. Three points lead for Seiya Kishikawa. That is quite enough if he keeps it up to 11. Good serve too. More backspin on the serve than Baum anticipated. Japanese supporters, no doubt, happy to see the performance of Seiya Kishikawa in this match. Yeah, he's been strong. Great serves, great receives. Very strong in the open rallies. It's been a good performance from Saya Kishikawa. He's managed to quieten the crowd a little bit. Although we want to see out the match now. Good backhand topspin from Patrick Baum. Good positioning. Over the table, the crowd liking that, the majority of the crowd anyway, most supporters clearly supporting the German team here. But we have seen supporters in and around the arena from all countries, which is great to see. Lots of different flags and shirts. Yeah. Much better from Patrick yeah. Baum, perhaps a little, a little bit late, but much more aggressive on the flick, taking the game to Saya Kishikawa, and it looks like the Japanese team call timeout. Their turn now to be a little bit concerned as Patrick Baum wins two points in a row to bring it back from 9 6 to 9 8. What do you think here, Sebastian? Once again, we have to see the first point after the timeout. If Patrick Baum continues where he left off, he was, as you say, clearly more active in the last few rallies. Good stage comeback. Just see how Yoshihito Miyazaki adjust the tactics here, how he instructs Seiya Kishikawa to play this out. Both players now back at the table. Timeout, maximum extend of 60 seconds or one that player who took the timeout decides it is over. Look how Seiya Kishikawa intentionally slows the game flow, slows the play to force Patrick Baum into overthinking maybe. That worked out well in this instance. Creates two match points for his Japanese team there. Saya Kishikawa. And I would say he is the favorite to do so. Ten eight. Oh. 
Different serve from Patrick Baum. Fast one down into the backhand. Again, potentially too late. However, he's still in it. What he's will he do with his fighting. second serve, though? Oh, that's a great question. It can't be mid-table and long. I fear if it's that, Saya Kishikawa will attack it. It's a great service. That was good. Short. Absolutely. Doesn't let Saya Kishikawa come in. Gives Patrick the chance to accelerate Saya into his body. Here we see it pops up slightly. Kishikawa can't do much about that. Good sequence there from Patrick Baum. Probably his best sequence of the match on serve. It was the right idea. He was there, he was present. He was right to go for it, Patrick Baum. Well done, Saki Sikawa. Gives himself a third match point. Baumat after the serve almost didn't work out. And he was about to lose momentum in this rally. That top spin from Sayakishikawa just went long. Avtorov's on his feet immediately, 11-0. It's a well-placed block by Saya Kishikawa, right down the line, catches Patrick Baum out. He did well, Patrick Baum, just to get that one back, but it wasn't strong enough. Mid-table, and Saya Kishikawa accelerates with the outswinger. The ball moving away from his opponent. Good finish, and now it's a, another match point for Saya Kishikawa. Sure enough, there it is. Look at Sayaki Ishikawa, he is happy to have won third game in the match against Germany. Clenches his fist, thanks the supporters. He's kept Japan in this semi-final, Sebastian. That's his delight, that's his relief. And we will see another match now. 